Hi, I'm Rika Hayden and I'm the Dress Up Mom. Thank you for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you like what you're seeing, please click on the subscribe button. We'd love to have you be part of our subscriber family. If you are somebody who watches the videos on a regular basis, thank you. It really means a lot to me and I appreciate it. So welcome everybody. Today I wanna to talk about fur. So to me, there's really nothing like the way fur looks and feels. Um, I used to, about 30 years ago, spend a lot of time on the East Coast and I was fortunate enough, my husband bought me this beautiful fox fur coat that I loved and wore a lot, a big puffy thing. Um, I actually still have this beautiful, I had a headband that was made from the same fur coat that I saved that I wear still as a headband and as a little kind of scarf sometimes. Uh, we moved to San Diego, or we live in San Diego, and there really wasn't an opportunity to wear a big fur coat anymore. So I sold that and via resale and hoping somebody really is still enjoying that coat somewhere. I was recently watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Lindsay Albanese. She has this great style tips channel and she was showing how you can sort of make any outfit classy or be classy. And she showed wearing a fur stole and putting that over like a coat. And it really got me thinking that that would be a really fun way to incorporate fur into a climate like Southern California or somewhere where it doesn't get as cold. I'm going to be making an East Coast trip in about a month, which is fun, going to New York for work. And I'm thinking that if I buy my first stole, that will keep me warm and I can put it over like a regular coat that I have and not have to really buy anything else new for that. Now, I know that there's a lot of controversy around fur and I get that. And I know faux fur is very cool. I don't own anything faux fur, but I'm sure that's very cool. I would not feel comfortable buying something new that was fur. I wouldn't go to a place and buy a new fur stole or headband. But I do feel comfortable buying it resale because especially if it's an older resale piece, to me, the animal that gave its life is being continuing to be used. And so I don't feel bad buying something vintage fur. I feel it's a kind of great way to honor the being or whatever, but I wouldn't buy a new one. So we are gonna go around town in San Diego. I've seen a bunch of different places where actually people have different fur garments. And over the course of the next month or so, we are, I'm gonna to try to find the perfect fur stole. So let's see what I find. Okay, we're at Flashbacks in Hillcrest. As you know, one of my favorite places. And here on the mannequin, Dane spotted for me a uh, fur stole. Now it has these little pockets and it looks like it's real. It's $22. I can't imagine that you can find anything like that. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can take it off of this and maybe try it on. Maybe I found my first stole like on the first try. So I have this little first stole. I to put it on. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. We were checking and inside it definitely looks like it's real. You can tell it's old. The lining is kind of uh, Stained, but it's in great shape. It's all in perfect shape. Look at the little pockets too that you can keep your hands warm in. And I think it fits really well. So I'm telling you guys, I don't know how it happened, but first time out, I put it out there in the universe. I have my first stall. I'm gonna wear this in New York and have it for, I'm going to a wedding too, and that's gonna be outside and cold later on in, in um, February. So I think I'm gonna wear this first stall then. Thank you, Lindsay, for the incredible idea. Love this, $22. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I would love to hear about your fur stories, both faux and real. So leave that in the comments below. Until next time, have some fun and dress it up a little.